to end the lesson. Today we are going to see other examples of the verb tener, to have. To have. As you remember, we said, yo tengo, tú tienes, vos tenés en Argentina, él, ella, usted tiene, although usted goes here, but the conjugation uh, coincides with this. Tenemos, we have, Tenéis in Spain, tienen in Latin America, and ellos, ellas, tienen. Uh, in the examples that I gave you in the previous video, I was always talking about objects. Um, in these in the examples but in Spanish we uh, use the verb tener not only uh, when we are talking about objects but a ve uh, something very peculiar in Span in all Romance languages we use the verb tener to indicate our age for example, in, in, in both in English and German, uh, people are a number of years old, are that old. In Spanish, we have the years. Uh, I mean, the meaning is the same, but the, the way of expressing it is it's different. We use, when talking about age, our age, other people's sage, we use this verb, verb. So, in my case, tengo, of course, then we'll see numbers. And giving the, the main, I'm starting from the main uh, verbs, the most common verbs, uh, to, to, to start, to, to start span, to start any language, because they are the, the most used. Tengo cuarenta y ocho. I don't know why I made why I made a glottal stop there because we don't say cuarenta y ocho. Because I was writing. Tengo cuarenta y ocho años. I'm forty-eight years old. Ich bin achtundvierzig Jahre alt. Um, so in Spanish we have the years. When we see numbers, you bueno, tienes, we can say here tienes veinticinco años. You're twenty-five years old. As an introduction to numbers, but we'll see numbers later. Um, those that go from 10 in 10, 20, 20 odd, 20, 30, 40, 40, 40 etc. Um, in some cases we use, we write them separately. In others, those that belong to the 20 range. We don't. We'll see them later. And apart from uh, age, we use the verb tener when we are talking about hunger or th thirst. For example, hambre nosotros tenemos sed. So, uh, to talk about age, we use the verb tener. talk about age, uh, to talk about um, well, let's say not about food but 
about want, you know, uh, no, want, sorry, about if we want or if we don't want to, to eat or drink something. And, um, oh, sorry, uh, oh, the other example I was going to, to teach you. Eight food. Um, ah, and now, now yes, um, um, I, I had forgotten that. And uh, <clears throat> I mean, I'm giving giving examples in which in English you use the verb to be, <clears throat> so that you see the the difference. And to express. Um, weather conditions and how we feel as regards those weather conditions. Tenéis frío means you're cold. Tienen calor. Uh, you're hot. Tienen um, frío calor. There are no other options in Spanish. But I mean, uh, talking about the weather, <clears throat> we don't use the babe, the verb, the babe, the verb to be either um, ser or estar, but the the verb to have, the uh, verb. So again, these are nouns because they are things that we have. And let's use an example with an object. And, um, and <clears throat> at the same time, I'm going to use two colors that are very important, very common, and I forgot to say uh, the way we say it in the lesson about colors, sorry. Ellos tienen ojos azules, in Spain, azules. Ellas tienen ojos verdes. Yo, in my case, tengo ojos marrones, of course. As you can see, we say color café, brown like coffee. Um, <clears throat> so in the previous lesson, I forgot to tell you these two important colors. Azul means blue and verde means green. This end ends, sorry, this ends with L, so we, to, to, to make the plural form, we add descending. In this case we just add S because it already has the letter E. Azul azules, verde verdes. Well and that's all for today. Um, yes, we, we'll give further examples in the subsequent lessons. But for today, it's enough. Um, I hope you enjoyed it, enjoyed the lesson. In that case, uh, uh, thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. See you in the next video. Have a nice day. Bye-bye. Ciao.